the scenarios coming forward uh, for Iraq are um, the following, maybe. Uh, one of them is to keep Adel Abdel Mahdi's government, maybe with a few changes in the cabinet, and then try to in, uh, put together a package of reforms and do them through the current parliament and through the government of Adel Abdel Mahdi. Another scenario is for uh, Adel Abdel Mahdi uh, and sending, according to the Constitution, a request to the president to uh, dissolve the parliament, and then that will lead to a new election, a new government, and that is very highly unlikely because it takes a, a real process to do that, and I don't think that it will be easy. Uh, a third scenario is to have the uh, parliament question um, Prime Minister Adil Abdel Mahdi and then after the questioning vote uh, to get him out of office through the vote, uh, the, the vote of uh, withdrawal of confidence. And that will need a large number in the parliament, a two thirds. And also, uh, I don't think that they have num the numbers to do that. So all of these are possible scenarios. The question is, I think for Iraq's sake, it is better to keep the current system and keep the current government and parliament and have them work together to do the deep reforms because I don't think removal of Adel Abdel Mahdi's government is necessarily going to change anything if, the, if his successor is going to be selected in the same way.